Hi everyone, um, thank you for your interest in our work. Uh, my name is Jennifer from UC Berkeley and this is joint work with Laurent. And in this video, I'm going to present on our recent work on reachability-based safe planning for multiple vehicles with multiple targets. Recently, there have been a lot of interest in introducing manned aerial vehicles <clears throat> into the airspace. For purposes such as package delivery, disaster response, videography, or other civil applications. And for all these scenarios, the safety for human UAVs and other important assets in the environment are of crucial importance. Safety critical systems are generally difficult to analyze because we need to be able to account for all possible system behaviors. In addition, the vehicles might operate in complex environments where there are disturbances from weather conditions or even adversarial agents. Furthermore, the vehicles um, have continuous line dynamics and their dynamics are also non-linear. And for multiple vehicles, the joint state of all the vehicles is generally of high dimension. We can break the multi-vehicles uh, collision avoidance problem mainly into down to mainly two categories with reach reachability. So for small systems such as uh, vehicle systems with two vehicles, we can directly use Hamilton Jacobi reachability, reachability to guarantee safety for pairwise uh, collision avoidance. However, for a number of vehicles greater than two, we have to consider other methods. So for works one and two, um, they were able to guarantee safety for three and four vehicles respectively for unstructured collision avoidance. Um, and unstructured means that the, the vehicles in the environment have a lot of freedom to execute any control that it, like, it would like to execute when it is deemed safe. However, the downside is that we can only guarantee safety for three and four vehicles. On the other end of the spectrum, there's more structured collision avoidance where, for example, in three, they assume that the vehicles travel in a single line of platoon, and in four, they assume that some vehicles have um, knowledge, prior knowledge of the trajectories of other vehicles in the environment, uh, so they are able to guarantee safety for a much larger number of vehicles. So in this work, we aim to tackle the problem to guarantee safety of any number of vehicles. However, we, we allow the structure of the vehicles and to be less structured than that of work of three, and we assume less knowledge uh, then, uh, no, then we assume that vehicles have less, less knowledge of what other vehicles would do than that of four. Um, while the structures or the vehicles are more structured than that of works one and two. So the goal of our uh, paper is to design an efficient method to get all vehicles to visit uh, a set of targets, which would known as GI in no particular order, um, with guaranteed safety. So before we uh, talk about our approach, I'll first talk about some of the notations and the assumptions that we are making. So all the vehicles have identical dynamics, xi dot equals fxi ui, when, and we assume that the structure of dynamics is such that we can, <coughs> it can be described by a subset of the states and the input. So for example, um, the xi, uh, the state, can be decomposed into uh, xi and xib, where the dynamics is only dependent on XIB and UI. Um, and there are many um, dynamical systems that fall into this category, such as 3D Dugan's cars or some quadrilateral dynamics, where it, the XIA components are generally the translational components of the state, which include the XYZ uh, coordinates. And the XIB component is typically the, um, um, the <coughs> states with um, uh, rotational um, states, and also the velocities. And we assume that each target set GI of each agent QI is a subset of a total of M targets T1 to Tm. So we define the danger zone between any two vehicles QI and QJ such that uh, it can be defined using um, a norm function D. So two agents are in each other's danger zone if they're off distance um, of RIJ which of each other uh, as measured by the more norm function D on the XIJA component of their relative state. Uh, and we assume that RIJ is equal to RJI. So the high level idea of our planning and control strategy is first, we design an efficient method to assign vehicles into K clusters based on their objectives, 
Given that we know that there exists a K vehicle collision avoidance algorithm that can guarantee safety for these K vehicles. And note that we assume the number of clusters K can in general be much smaller than the number of vehicles N. In the next step, we will design a um, control strategy that can guarantee safety for all pairs of vehicles. So for the cluster assignment problem, our main goal is to assign each vehicle into one of the K clusters um, with the goal of no balancing the number of targets each cluster needs to visit. So each cluster needs to visit the union of all the targets that uh, vehicles belonging to uh, this particular cluster uh, need to visit. Um, and we use an optimization problem to solve this. So the variables that we're trying to solve for uh, are the YIKs, which are binary variables that indicate whether vehicle QI is assigned to cluster HK. And we also use this notation uh, constants EIJ, such that it indicate whether vehicle QI needs to visit target TJ. So here is our proposed integer linear program. So the first constraint basically says that um, each vehicle should be assigned to exactly one cluster. And the second constraint indicate that um, the variables y k should be either 0 or 1. So the objective is slightly harder to parse, and we'll leave it to interested readers um, to take a look at the paper. But the summation here, uh, underlined in red, is the total number of targets cluster HK would need to visit. And our goal is to minimize the maximum number of targets that any uh, cluster needs to visit. And this can be solved efficiently by off-the-shelf solver uh, once it's transformed to a standard form. So once the vehicles are grouped into clusters, uh, we now present how to guarantee safety for um, any pair of vehicles in the environment. So to guarantee safety for any pair of vehicles, it suffices to guarantee safety for any pair of vehicles within the same cluster and any pair of vehicles across distinct clusters. So the, to guarantee safety for any pair of vehicles within the same cluster, we'll use this theorem. So for any pair of vehicles, QIJ, QI and QJ in the same cluster, if we initialize states such that they are uh, out of each other's danger zone and then their X, B components are identical, and if we apply the, the same control for both vehicles, then they will continue to remain safe from each other. And this is a direct result of uh, that the dynamics of these vehicles are only dependent on the uh, XB component and also the input. And now we'll discuss how we can ensure safety for any pair of vehicles across distinct clusters. So first we introduce the notion of imaginary vehicles. So we can think of each cluster HK as an imaginary vehicle with dynamics identical to that of the actual vehicles. And with state X HK that coincides with the center of the cluster. And now we define um, two terms. So first is the maximum distance to cluster center, RHK, and optimum danger zone. So the optimum danger zone is defined uh, between any two clusters, HK and HL, and it is defined such that two clusters are within each other's optimum danger zone if their distance is within RHK HL of each other. And RHK HL is equal to the maximum distance to cluster center for cluster HK and the same quantity for cluster HL plus the maximum of the uh, danger zone radius between any pair of vehicles across these two uh, clusters. And we can show that if um, any, the two clusters are outside of each other's augmented danger zone, then any pair of vehicles in these two distinct clusters are um, also outside of each other's danger zone based on triangle inequality and the way that we defined the augmented danger zone. So with this in mind, we can know that if we apply um, the K-vehicle collision avoidance algorithm to guarantee safety when resolving K-vehicle conflicts, on the K imaginary vehicles with um, the Auckland danger zone, um, if the um, algorithm says to apply control UK for cluster HK and we um, apply this UK for all vehicles in that cluster, then safety can be guaranteed. And why is that? And it is because that the K vehicle collision algorithm ensures that all the clusters uh, will remain outside of each other's augmented danger zone, 
which by theorem 2 means that all pairs of vehicles from distinct clusters will remain safe from each other. So this completes our proof that our proposed strategy uh, guarantees safety for all pairs of vehicles in the environment. So now we present a simulation of our proposed approach on 15 vehicle system. So here there are 15 vehicles with a total of 16 targets and based on these targets, uh, our uh, cluster assignment algorithm assign them into uh, k equals to three clusters. And we can see that the result of the cluster assignment makes it so that these clusters need to visit exactly um, six um, targets and the number of targets each cluster needs to visit is very well balanced. So here we see um, the three clusters, each in the different uh, color of each in a different uh, circle. So for example, the green cluster has like um, six vehicles and the blue one has four vehicles. And as they um, head to their next targets, they might get into potential conflict with each other, but their three vehicle collision avoidance algorithm will make sure the clusters are safe from each other, which also means that the vehicles uh, are safe from each other. Um, and at the end, we can see that all vehicles uh, successfully uh, go to all of their targets without any uh, danger zone violations. So in conclusion, we propose the cooperative planning and control method to get any number of vehicles to visit multiple targets with guaranteed safety, and we demonstrated the effectiveness of our proposed, report, proposed method on uh, 15 vehicles. And thank you, this is the uh, uh, end of the talk.